Recruit people to journey to Mars. Overview of topic. Our project was to design a rocket which will hold up to 36 astronauts and recruit people to, to, to train and prepare for the seven to nine month journey to Mars. The carefully selected astronauts, which will be chosen according to intelligence, manual skill, manual skill and emotional ability, will spend the travel period together on the spaceship before arriving on Mars, where there is an established settlement waiting to be inhabited by the pioneers. The rocket will then become part of the settlement on Mars, with fuel to take the astronauts back to Earth in case of irreparable damage. What I have learnt. I've learnt quite a bit in honours this semester. I've learnt all about mass and how it works. Your mass is the atoms, but your weight will change because it all depends on the gravity of where you are, I think. I've also learnt about some of the basic life requirements. I've also learnt about gravity. Gravity works by pulling everything into the centre of the Earth, not down. If it did pull everything down, most of the human population would have to move to the Arctic Circle. I mean, like, if it was pulling down, it'd be on the top of the globe. I've also learned how astronauts eat, drink, and survive in space. Journey to Mars facts. The journey can take about seven, around seven months, which is a bit longer than the time astronauts generally spend on the ISS, International Space Station. No manned spacecraft has attempted to land on Mars yet. It is 63.321 million kilometres from Mars to Earth. The rocket has to go pretty fast. The average temperature in space around Earth is 10.17 degrees Celsius. So, not freezing, but it's still a bit chilly. How will colonising Mars help humankind? We will be able to explore beyond what is currently available. We will be able to explore our universe. We will be able to know what is hidden beyond our barriers. We will be able to challenge ourselves, learn more about the human body. We will be able to study more comprehensively than rovers. Humans will be able to see what is further than our planet. We will challenge our boundaries, challenge our limitations. Maybe Mars is not where we stop. We could go to Jupiter or Venus or beyond. We will go beyond what we can do. AUSS Australian Spaceship Beyond will help us go beyond. AUSS Beyond, the first manned rocket to Mars. AUSS Beyond will be the first manned rocket to Mars. She will carry 36 astronauts for nine months. Once AUSS Beyond, Beyond lands, arrives on the launch pad on Mars, the astronauts on board will disembark and enter their new home and settle in. Items will be transported off the spacecraft and into the colony. So that means that people and whatever leftover food there is. AUSS Beyond Leisure. AUSS Beyond contains living facilities for the travel time. These include single bedrooms for everyone, gender separated, one bathroom for every six people, gender separated, games, a games room with video games, television, a piano keyboard, sports section, sport video games and like a safe area, like, um, like, like padded room that they like give horses an aesthetic in, something like that. Um, so no balls or feet fly away and smash the TV. Um, a leisure room with comfy seating, books, art supplies, pen, paper, fabric, sh sewing machine, thread, etc. A large and a large dining section. Plenty of food cookers. You don't have to line up. As well as AUSS Beyond functional features, as well as letting the astronauts have fun, AUSS Beyond also has to keep them alive. I mean, like, not very useful having a dead people colony on Mars. Here are some functional features. Water recycling, space-based solar panels, SBSP, on all the outside to collect energy for heating, water, lighting and more. Didn't get round to adding them. The mirror tiles disappeared. Fuel to boost the rocket through the atmosphere. So that there's a little 
bit just here at the bottom. Emergency fuel to get the astronauts back to Earth in case of an emergency, in case anyone microwaves a fork. Da, da, da. And a computer room for directing the rocket to Mars. Not much help without it. The build. The designs. So here are the materials. It has changed a lot from my original plan, but it's stay generally the same a bit. So the type of material real was um, aerospace grade aluminium or titanium or carbon composite structures for the outside, cardboard post tube and um, and white paint mixed with PVA and it's gone from a party hat to a TV screen with stuffed with tissues to make it white. Um, silica, yeah, I didn't get round to making them because I didn't really understand them. Um, graphite, tungsten, aluminium alloys, and many other combinations of materials which can, which withstand such high temperatures for the it says nozzle, but it was actually like the boosters. I said washing liquid cups, but I couldn't get enough, so paper plastic cups. Oh, washing liquid cups. This is my original sketch. As you can see, um, this there is a little bit here that comes off when once it goes through the atmosphere. You can't really see that sketch very well. Anyway, this is my digital design. A little bit small, but computer room, female bathroom, female female bedroom, bathroom, food storage, a kitchen and eating area, um, games room, leisure room, male bathroom, male bedroom, um, um, no, water recycling, oxygen generator and solar panel controls, emergency fuel and fuel and I lost my original design, my original online design, so I forgot to add uh, a um, uh, fuel for the atmosphere. Finished model and I forgot to add the photo. So here it is, or you can look at it there. Model parts and review. Right, so my main parts of the model, starting at the top, first main part of the model is the nose. Its purpose is to let the rocket glide through space. I built the model nose out of the television um, screen part and I stuffed it with some tissues to make it white. Um, the main part of my rocket is the body. I built it over, um, I built it out of a long post tube, which I painted white with a mix of white acrylic paint and um, polyvinyl acetate glue, PVA. Um, to make it stick to the packaging tape with, that the tube was wrapped in because it was a bit too late once I realised it wouldn't stick. And last but not least is the boosters on my rocket. Um, I created these out of five plastic cups which are hot glued together into the pyramid -y sort of shape. I then added Velcro onto the rocket, onto the base of the rocket and to the top of the cup to create the removable boosters which will fall off once it gets through the atmosphere. What worked well, what didn't, what I liked and disliked about my model. I found that the postal tube worked really well for the body as it was quite hard. So, I, so it wasn't flimsy when I was doing work to it. Actually now I reflect on it, that was the only part of my original design that stood the test of time if you like. In my original plan, I was going to use party, pa party hat painted white as the nose, but it kept falling off and because of the plastic layer on the party hat, the paint kept flaking and yeah, just yucky. Um, so eventually I scrapped that idea and used the television screen. What I liked about my rocket is how it looks fairly clean and tidy and like it doesn't have cardboard showing. But what I don't like about the rocket is that I didn't get time to add some colour and it can't stand up by itself on the bushes. Other than that, I'm pretty happy on how it turned out. Thank you. But one last thing. Cup.
Kadown.